Most places were dry this afternoon and this evening. However, there were a couple of spotty showers that did move through parts of the area. They've long since fallen apart, so we'll head through the rest of tonight's and the early part of the day tomorrow rain free. The sky is partly to mostly cloudy. 69 is the current temperature. Dew points at 62. Winds are currently calm and humidity at 78 percent. Temperatures elsewhere right now. Cranberry and Elwood City are both at 65. Same in Churchill. Bethel Park at 67 degrees. Butler 63. Same in Latrobe, 61 in Indiana and West Mifflin a bit warmer at 69 degrees. Temperatures will come down right in the ballpark of 60 degrees first thing tomorrow morning on either side of 60, maybe some upper 50s in parts of the area by noon. 69 degrees, generally more clouds than sunshine. I think our window of opportunity tomorrow to see a few showers will open up around 1 o'clock in the afternoon through about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So at 3, there'll be some scattered showers crossing the area. We'll start our clock on Futurecast 7 a.m. Again, more clouds and sunshine to start, but dry at the bus stop in the morning. As we move ahead to that time frame that I mentioned, between 1 and 5 o'clock, 2 o'clock indicates a scattering of some showers crossing the area from north to south as a cold front will be pressing through the area. By 6 o'clock, showers pretty much exited the area. Still some lingering clouds, although I do think we will see at least partial clearing in the area tomorrow night, and then clouds will start returning on Friday, this time from the south. Probably a shield of some high thin cirrus clouds initially, and then the clouds will thicken up right through the afternoon. But it looks like it stays dry through the day on Friday with some moisture beginning to approach the area. Looks like later Friday night into Saturday with the remnant area of low pressure that was once Harvey by the time it gets to the low Ohio Valley. Here's the way it plays out on the surface map. Again, the front dips through the area tomorrow pretty rapidly. Then it slows down as it gets to the south, interacting with those remnants working up through parts of Kentucky and Tennessee by 6 o'clock on Friday. There's going to be a little battle going on. You'll have high pressure to the north and that area of low pressure to the south. Eventually, the low is going to jog a little further north and that will circulate a few showers through the area from time to time Friday night and on into parts of the day on Saturday. Right now, computer models not projecting a lot of rain locally, probably just more occasional showers, which could amount to about a quarter to maybe a half of an inch of rain as the remnants pass by to our south by Saturday evening and Saturday night, and then game on with beautiful weather Sunday and into Labor Day on Monday. Forecast tonight, 60, a mostly cloudy sky. Tomorrow, the high, 72, mostly cloudy. That shower chance mainly between 1 and 5 in the afternoon. On Friday, more clouds and 68 degrees, a cooler day. Then Friday night and Saturday, some occasional rain showers, 70, the high temperature. And then sunshine returns Sunday, 72, and partly cloudy on Labor Day with a high of 77. And we're back with more after this.